Pitchfork family, Cornell means Christina is heading home. Oh, my dad would have tears in his eyes and he'd be telling me how much he loved me and how proud he is. I know he's proud. I know he's proud. Proud as Christina takes her next step, residency at Cornell, toward becoming a pediatrician. Amy O'Bear, ABC 7 News. Brings a tear to your eye. That is awesome. Congratulations is. to all of them, but especially her. She gets to go home. Mom gets to be close. We feel proud of Christina as well as all those grads. Congratulations. All right. Now a storm watch alert. My gosh, look at the water go through there. Just that was a road. Now it's a river. Incredible video coming in from Nebraska where rain and snow melt from a bomb cyclone, which is what it's been dubbed, have brought major flooding in a state of emergency. Entire buildings have been swept away and bridges collapsing. Look at the aftermath. Mm. The same storm system also blamed for tornadoes leaving behind this trail of destruction in Michigan. That was some storm. It this has is. been a rough season. It has, it has. And the severe weather season is, mm -hmm. is unfortunately still ahead. Still ahead. It's going to be a quiet weekend, uh, at least in terms of severe weather around the country, which is good. very good. And that includes our area as well. Let me get you out the door tonight. It is very warm. We've seen a few added clouds, and we may see a stray shower or two between now and roughly 9, 10 o'clock tonight. But extremely mild conditions. 74 in D.C., down from our high of 78 today. 73 Chantilly, same thing with Gaithersburg, Martinsburg at 75, and Leonardtown right now at 70. So we look around the metro, just a few clouds. We look around the entire DMV. We've had some showers earlier into Montgomery, Howard County, and moving out of our region. That's about it right now. Some thunderstorms down to the south near the uh, Norfolk area, uh, Virginia Beach, up near Williamsburg, but they're confined down there. But the cold front still has not crossed yet, and as it does, it could bring us some showers and storms. So we still are in that general thunderstorms risk around the D.C. Metro. That will update at 8 o'clock tonight from the Storm Prediction Center. Marginal risk in this light shade of green. But tomorrow, no storm risk in our area. And this is pretty rare for this time of year. We look across the country, no thunderstorms forecast at all anywhere on Saturday or Sunday. Not even the general thunderstorms risk, which is great news because we just need a break after that incredible week that we had. Our events here, our impact, minor at most, where this was an exceptional impact of, uh, storm uh, earlier in the week out west and then uh, up to the north as well. So again, we're looking at some showers to the south. We may see a shower or two fire up between now and 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Otherwise, our story is going to be the temperature change. It is 32 degrees colder in Columbus right now compared to yesterday. Widespread 25 to 30 degree temperature drops, and that is heading our direction right now. The temperature is 41 there in Columbus, 50 in Parkersburg. We're still at 74 here in D.C. So for tonight, we'll see gradual clearing, cool and breezy. Those winds tonight to 20 miles per hour. The range 36 to 43 degrees. So out the door tomorrow morning, we're going to go in D.C. about 43 degrees, then 46 by 9, 48 by noon. But, I mean, look at the wind chill factor. You walk out tomorrow morning. Keep in mind it was 61 this morning officially. Tomorrow morning with the wind chill, we're down in the mid-30s. So big, big change. Lots of sunshine. It's a dry day, but a breezy, if not windy one, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds with gusts of wind up to about 30 miles per hour on your day Saturday. We're dry on Sunday or St. Patrick's Day, just chilly with a high temperature just of 50 degrees. We'll watch a weather system bring us a few light showers potentially Sunday night and into Monday. And you folks in northern Maryland could have a couple of snow showers into early Monday morning. It moves through very quickly. And then we're just going to stay below normal for a few days. And spring officially begins here on Wednesday. Scott, we'll send it over to you. Ah, spring. I love it, Bill. It's called the madness of March. George Mason's hopes for the big dance are no more. The reason for today's disappointing finish. Next in sports, stay with us. With the PenFed car buying service from PenFed Credit Union, you can get rates as low as 1.49% APR on new vehicles. And everyone is welcome to apply. Visit PenFed.org. PenFed's got great rates for everyone. You know what you taught me, Granny? How to accessorize. Yeah. How to cheat at poker. Well, no, but French cuss words. Yes, but also how to make real southern butterfly shrimp. You gotta use buttery crackers for the crust. And fry them up fresh. Yes, ma'am. Mmm, this lemon mustard is fantastic. Tell me everything I know. Like roller derby. Eight cracker-crusted shrimp plus a side of biscuit and lemon mustard for just five bucks. Thanks, Granny. Ready to conquer winter? Then it has to be a Honda SUV.